I always struggle a little bit about actually finding something to talk about. And my main objective is always just pointing back at ourselves and getting out of our entanglements and misunderstanding of what this is. Because of everything that's happened lately in our world, and it is always happening, there's this uncertainty. And how we deal with uncertainty is interesting. Sometimes we try to fix it by finding some external way of acquiring security. And that might work for a little while. And then it doesn't. There is a kind of certainty in uncertainty. There's something that is transcendent about ever-changing circumstances and phenomenal experience. In our sitting practice, we can touch on this, which sometimes is referred to as suchness, as just this, just now, just here. And when we do touch on it, it's liberating. It's, it's a sense of freedom, uh, joy, uh, compassion, uh, the understanding that we're all in this together. There's not an opposite to compassion. We think there is because we confuse it with our phenomenal experience of positive and negative. Compassion is transcendent. It's this. This light isn't the opposite of darkness. This is the light that is the origin of existence. It is existence. And this light is something that can't be explained or described, can only be experienced. And if we can touch on it, then our lives are a little bit better and everybody else's that we touch is also a little bit better. Now, this doesn't mean that we don't experience hardship suffering, make mistakes, have remorse about things that we've done. But beyond all of that, like the Heart Sutra talks about nirvana as being beyond all of that. So when we recite gate gate para gate para son gate going going beyond we're referring to this ability that we all have innately to transcend this experience of duality of ups and downs right and wrong just sitting and doing no thing is the answer to all this and I really appreciate us getting together like this and doing our sitting together and supporting each other in no thing. Um, I think quite often from just sitting, even though it may feel like nothing is happening while we're sitting, when we go into our lives, something has changed a little bit. Somehow our insight, our, the wisdom I shines through a little bit better than it did before we sat. And we're able to see our lives a little bit differently. If we're just paying attention, if we're not caught up in the next drama, and we just allow things to be a little bit, slow down enough not to jump into whatever it is that's happening and just take it in as it is. I think our lives can be a little bit better by just stopping 
and not absorbing everything that's coming at us. And that's a difficult thing in a modern society like ours where everything is always bombarding us, um, at least in the human perspective. That's why for me, nature is my salvation. The natural world is the place where we are the closest to what we actually are. So just by noticing something in nature in a moment can transfix us, can change our experience from this chaotic or chaos to one of tranquility and harmony and balance. So, yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty in life and things are difficult at times, very difficult. This is all the aspect of everything changing and all energy is, nothing is solid, everything is moving and changing. So try not to make it solid. Try not to make something into something by holding on to it so tightly that you know you you feel the weight of it. But open your hand of thoughts so that the weight of it can be lifted. And I just feel like talking about that because my experience, and I'm assuming most of our experience right now is feels burdened because of everything that's happened and the political environment and all the rest of it. I mean, this has going, been going on in the world for centuries. This is nothing new, but it's our experience now, so it feels new. Yeah. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> Any questions or comments? Okay. Well, should we go on with our day? Thank you. Yep.